Hello, you're very welcome to Tonic with the Father. I am Ayonfe Oluwa Akimbola and I'm so glad that we are able to one more time meet on Tonic with the Father. I'm grateful to everyone watching this video. If this is your first time, you are welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you are a returning subscriber, as always, I don't take it for granted. I appreciate the support all the time. As promised, this is follow-up to the video we had on handling failure so this is managing success today our topic is managing success and i promise you you will not watch this video and not be successful by the grace of god so we are going to succeed together just please keep watching this video watch it to the end and please recommend it to somebody let's share it far and wide be blessed tasted success you know that success is sweet you just want to keep succeeding you just don't want to stop succeeding remember that person in your class in primary school who always used to come first that success it just every time is always the first because success is sweet you don't want to stop succeeding or your team that always wants to get the gold medal in the championship that is success success is sweet managing success who is a manager? A manager is one that oversees the operations, mostly day-to-day -day operations of, you know, of an organization, of an institution, of a firm. So the person oversees the operation and also the maintenance of facilities, Things. assets of the organization. Yes, and success, like I mentioned in that video, handling failure, is the opposite of failure. Success means that you are able to achieve, to accomplish, to meet your expectations, to meet your goals. That is in the most simple way. That is what success is. You have expectations, you have goals, you have desires, and you are able to meet them. That is simply what success is. Now, that you succeeded yesterday does not mean automatically you will succeed today. So success is not by itself a permanent position. Just like failure also can be, it is an event. It is not something that automatically just happens because you won't succeed it, then you would always succeed, not necessarily. If you don't maintain what it took for you to succeed then, if you don't maintain and repeat it, you might not succeed subsequently. So success is not always permanent. And that's why we hear of you know people that are living on past glory they're already history in their lifetime this person was once this this person did this before and no longer so, success is something that needs to be maintained it needs to be kept at you don't just succeed and just leave it there you must continue you know i said success is able to being able to meet and even exceed your expectations and not only your expectations but even expectations from external factors from you know your school your school has set goals or your family your relationship their expectations so you are able to meet those expectations and that is actually what success is success must be sustained for it to continue you can't just start today and just drop it off tomorrow no it must be continued this must be sustained and it's not based on luck or chance no success is not something that just happens because success is a continuous thing so it's not a it, it can be a one-time event but for somebody to be said to be a success that person has proven continuously over time that they are successful at what they do and that's when we can say that person is a success so it's not just luck or chance or it just happened the person just became this no most times success is built on principles success is not just by chance it's not just by luck it's established on patterns so it, it has to do with patterns that do with principles over time seeds that have been sown in the past probably in secret so you're not seeing what the person has done you're only seeing the end result and that's where many people make the mistake of thinking that success just happens by luck or by chance no success actually is built on principles is built on patterns so if you see somebody that succeeds at something and you ask them how did you do it and the person is telling you oh it just happened by chance or by luck is one of these things either the person is just trying to be humble and you know just trying to keep low key or the person doesn't understand the person has not introspected enough to actually see that okay they did you know sometimes people do things inadvertently so they, they are just doing 
they are working with those principles of success without necessarily even giving thought to it to know that they're actually working towards success so that's why it might look as if it just happened by chance no nothing happens just by chance there are principles there are patterns there are rules that govern it or maybe the person doesn't want to tell you the truth maybe the person is trying to hide something from you but every success has a story there's always some backstory to every success that we see for us to succeed it's important for us to introspect that means you are thinking inward so you want to check out what are the lifestyles what are the habits what are the patterns what are you know the routines the daily actions that will bring about success whether we are you know intentional or we are just doing it not so thoughtfully by ourselves or by others so for instance you know we hear stories of people who succeeded and who tell us that you know, their parents prayed for them so even before they realized or they got to develop themselves prayers had been sown ahead you know there are, there are people or you know a, a parents make some investments towards their unborn child all those kind of things so there's always just something it just doesn't happen by luck or by chance some work has gone ahead some things have been done in the past some things you know every success has a story every success has a foundation there's a root to it it doesn't just come just by luck or by chance success always has a story that's principles that's patterns that govern it like i mentioned success is governed by principles by patterns by rules and i'll be sharing quickly with us 10 success principles 10 principles that have been proven to work 10 principles of success have been proven to work and which you would apply to your life which i would apply to my life and we will see results by the grace of god number one success principle think about it think about success now the scriptures tell us in jeremiah 29 verse 11 that i know that god is the one speaking there he's saying that i know the thoughts that i think towards you they are thoughts of good not of evil to give you a future and evil to bring you to an expected end that is god's thoughts about you he has good intentions for you he wants you to succeed so, god now, thinks good thoughts towards you but until you are able to internalize and accept his good thoughts towards you you might not be able to actually lay hold on success and that's why the bible tells us in proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 that as a man thinketh in his heart so he is if you don't think you are successful even though god already thinks you are successful he has made you successful he's thinking success towards you you may not be able to live on success because you are not thinking it you are not seeing yourself the way god sees you so we need to come to that point of seeing ourselves as god sees us we need to be able to say that god loves me he has good thoughts for me i'm not here by mistake i'm not just here for nothing you know, god has a plan he has a purpose to achieve and to accomplish in my life so begin to see yourself the way god sees you that is the first point see yourself as god sees you think about success proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. number two principle of success you want to have a vision successful people are visionary people a vision is an image it's something that you can see ahead you, an image. you can see yourself as this person you can picture yourself as that that is vision and the bible tells us that my people perish for lack of vision it's so painful god's people not just anybody god's people you know he has he thinks good thoughts about you yeah those people perish because they lack vision that's in proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 you don't want to be one of such people who god already thinks good thoughts towards but because you lack vision you lack an image you, they, there's just nothing you are working towards you don't you don't have any dream you don't have any image of where you desire to be as god wills you don't have anything pushing you you don't have any vision that is leading to destruction perishing and it's not just good enough to have that image it's not just good enough to picture it to, to you know to see yourself in the future it's also very important for us to document it write it down write it down write it down very important don't just know it in your head but please let's write it down Habakkuk 2 verse 2 says that write it down make the vision plain that anybody that sees it to be able to run with it so even when you might forget maybe you had dreams god has placed ideas in your mind but for one reason or the other you just forget or you get carried away with other things the fact that it is written down makes it a reference point so you're able to remember you can go back to that journal that book where you wrote it and remind yourself that okay this is where god is taking me to and then you can realign yourself so please have a vision know it see it and then write it down so that you'll be able to run with it number three principle of success is do the work do 
the work. Successful people are not wishful thinkers. They are not lazy people. Successful people are diligent people. They are hardworking. They are smart workers. You are not just, you know, dreaming, seeing it, seeing it, seeing it like a mirage. And the thing just keeps getting, you know, look. it looks as if it's getting farther and farther and farther and farther because you are not doing anything. And excuses are bound. I don't have the money to start. I don't have the resources. I don't, I'm not skilled enough. I'm this and that. All those excuses, will, they will not stop. Excuses will always come if you fail to start where you are so yes everything may not be perfect yet the entire picture of what you are seeing may not look like what it is now but start where you are you can't afford to be lazy if you want to be successful and that's the simple truth we may not like to hear this but that's the simple truth i can't say i'm seeing a picture of where god is taking me to and i'm doing nothing i'm just sleeping my life away bible says that those who are lazy will be destroyed proverbs is full of different statements that refer to the same thing laziness cannot help us in this matter we want to be successful we can't afford to be lazy proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 says that the lazy person will be destroyed proverbs 12 24 says that the hand of the diligent will rule like he has given us choices he has showed us if you do this this is what you will get so we can't afford to be lazy bible again says in proverbs 20 29 that says that we man diligent in his work so this is God is already presenting. Just be diligent in your work. What will happen? You will stand before kings and not before men, men, not before ordinary people, not before just anybody. And that's a success. Being able to, you have value, and you're not just throwing your value on the streets, but before those who it matters to. So please do the work. So number four principle of success is discipline. Discipline. This one is hard so you are putting your body under you are giving your body you know, some strict discipline you are not just living like every regular person because you have a vision you have a focus you know where you are going to you want to put yourself under strict discipline and discipline is so important it's, it's not just what you know what you enforce on children as adults we need to be disciplined ourselves you need to get discipline the bible tells us that we should not hate discipline Proverbs chapter 5 verse 12 says that we should not hate discipline. And it now goes on to say in verse 23 that if you hate discipline, it will lead to death. So don't hate discipline. But if you now choose to hate discipline, the result is not good. We don't want to die before we die. So please, let us imbibe discipline. It is hard. Yes, it is hard, truly. And you know, everybody likes screws. You want to enjoy. You want to just lounge. It's okay. But because you have a vision, because you know where you are going to, you can't afford to just be laid back. You have to actually be disciplined as God helps you. Paul, the great apostle, now went ahead to say in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, he was saying that, you know, as a preacher in his own in his own work, he was saying that like a boxer is not is not is not sitting gently and just doing his work. He's saying he's actively, aggressively working at it like a boxer because after he has pointed others to Christ, he doesn't want to be cast out. So discipline is not just enough to work. But you have to do it the right way. Discipline, discipline, discipline. May God help us in Jesus' name. Number five principle of success that we need to imbibe is the consciousness of time. And that includes time management. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, time and seasons. There's time for everything. There's seed time and there's harvest time. So if you don't do what you should do in your seed time, don't expect a bountiful harvest and that's the truth it's a bitter truth but that's the truth so if i don't do what i ought to do when i should do it and i now see those that did what they should do when they should do it i shouldn't feel bad if i don't get their results because there is time for everything god is not unjust he's not he's not an unfair god if you do what you should do by god's grace you know you you, you give your due diligence you will get the results that god intends you to get so please let's work with the consciousness of time as a young person this is not the time to just sit back there will be a time that you will you will have time to rest and you even be looking for what to do you know but this time is the time to labor this is the time to sweat this out this is the time to do what you should do and god will help us in jesus name number six principle of success that is very important is human currency that is your relationships maintaining relationships very important so you're talking about your friends your classmates your colleagues you know your mentors your models your network generally 
people in your life are very important success is not something that is accomplished in isolation we actually do need people because there are a lot of external factors apart from doing your own part there are a lot of external factors that can determine whether or not a person will succeed that's why the bible tells us in proverbs chapter 27 verse 10 that don't forsake your friends don't forsake your father's friends so you may feel like this old person what can person do for me no don't throw people away your bible will say that so you've, you feel like you've used this person and you're just done and you move ahead you don't keep thought and then in the next 10 years you feel like you can get the person to link you things well you might just be you might receive mercy and it might work for you but it's not it's not healthy it's not good so let's ensure that we keep relationships intact we keep relationships alive we keep relationships working and of course you are not taking advantage of people so you are not being nice because you want to get something in exchange but just be good like just be good yes number seven principle of success is to avoid envy avoid jealousy very very important yes, sir the bible tells us in proverbs 14 verse 30 that um, envy jealousy is like rottenness in the bones so you are working towards success and you see somebody who seems to have already achieved or accomplished and all you are doing is to feel like oh what did they even do they don't know how to do it you are just jealous and envious of such people and you can't attract what you attack you feel like this person does not know how to do it blah blah blah, blah. you just call the person number one it will stop you from even doing your own so you are just busy watching every step of the person you are monitoring the person's life why your people will say that anytime i walk you know that the person we are watching does not watch other people so you know that you are going somewhere you are going to be successful and you now leave your own matter you drop it on the ground and you are focusing on another person you can't achieve success that way success needs focus avoid envy avoid jealousy at all costs god will help us in jesus name number eight principle of success is avoid pride avoid pride the bible says in james 4 see, god resists the proud he gives grace now let's look at it this is god though standing in a person's way because of pride so whatever effort the person is putting in it look as if it is nothing because god is actually the one standing against the person's progress you don't want that for yourself so please no matter the accomplishments no matter what it looks like you have got to let's you know talk to ourselves you might not need somebody to talk to you because the person may not even you might not show on the outside but please let's ensure to talk to ourselves that pride is not for me pride it cannot help anybody so let's resist that temptation to you know become self-conceited and feel that like we have accomplished and we are whatsoever no that doesn't mean that we should not celebrate our small wins so it's not like you, you got a success and people are congratulating you oh congratulations god god to um give you long life to enjoy it and you know like he's not saying don't worry ah, I'm ah you know that kind of thing like you just play down on the success as if it's nothing no god doesn't want us to be in great we are not supposed to take his message for granted but as you celebrate those small wins ensure that your eyes is not losing focus on where you are going to so celebrate yes celebrate the small wins celebrate the small victories they all add up to the big picture but don't remain there don't become satisfied like that rich food the bible talked about that i felt like oh i have enough i've gathered enough time for me to rest forever no you know there's always still more for you to do as long as you have life you have breath in your nostrils there's always more for you to do yes number nine principle of success is to wait 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 for the success no farmer plants seed today and goes tomorrow you know clears the soil around the seed and check is it growing that's it will not grow so you know you have to do your work and leave it to grow let time tell let time tell bible says in isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 that those who wait upon the lord will renew their strength they will mount up with wings like eagles they will run and not be weary they will walk and not faint you know wait on god so you don't want to be impatient you don't want to be in a hurry you've done your part god will complete it he will do the rest so don't be that person that is so impatient too much in a hurry that you are not waiting for the success you want to harvest before fruition. no let the work fruit let it mature and then you begin to harvest the success so be patient take your time 
wait for the success of course you are not waiting idly you are still working you are still doing other things so wait for the success wait on god for for the results and keep hope alive so don't be discouraged even if it looks like oh it's slow it's not coming fast just wait god will do it by his grace number 10 principle of success is you want god to be your success story now i did not say you want god to be a part of your success story but you want god to be your success story and what that means is that you are joining with god because success is not just about this uh, it's not just about the money it's not just about the wealth the fame the name accomplishments of now no success is real success is actually into eternity so you want god to be your success in, in story second corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 the writer was saying that we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence will not be of us it's not about me i'm just the vessel the excellence is not about us but it's about god so i'm partnering with god to bring glory to his name and only success that we have in god is actually permanent every other success you know you die and you leave everything you've achieved here on earth you don't take anything out so real success is success in god real success is success through god because the bible tells us that we can do all things through christ who strengthens i can do all things through christ who strengthens us so i'm not depending on my own strength to succeed it's not of him who wills nor of him who walks but of god who shows mercy i love the niv translation of that passage it says that it does not depend on man's desire so you desire success everybody wants success it doesn't depend on that desire you can keep dreaming it's not enough it doesn't depend on man's desire or on your efforts so you have the desire and you are working towards it <laughs> success is not just about desire and effort it is god's mercy and that's the summary of everything at the end of everything after all said and done it all boils down to god's mercy but do your part do your part and let god tidy it of it i'm so sure that this video blessed you i'm so convinced that you were blessed by this video i hope that you would apply the principles the 10 principles that were discussed in this video into your life and by god's grace we'll see the result Success will become our reality. It won't be a mirror for us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. We appreciate you for the grace you have given to us to discuss success. Because you said you, you know the thoughts you think towards us, that they are thoughts of good, not of evil, to give us a future and a hope to bring us to an expected end. Thank you because you have good thoughts for us. You have thoughts of success for us. We receive grace to reach to them. We receive grace to actually succeed. We receive grace to succeed, not just on earth, but even in eternity. Thank you because you know you have heard us. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video until now. My heart flows out to you in gratitude. Thank you because you will do the need for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If it blessed you and you want to share, please comment below. Please endeavor to share this video, recommend it to somebody, and more importantly, use it for your life. I'm always blessed when I watch and watch the videos. It's as if you know it's always new every time. I pray that God will bless us. God will bless you indeed in Jesus' name. Until next time, God bless you. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if it blessed you. Let's have your feedback in the comment section or through the email address tonicwiththefather at gmail.com. Please share this video with your friends far and wide. If you are yet to subscribe, please do so and encourage your friends to do same.